Hello everyone. I am Ankit Kanodia from SmartSync. We are ingrained to think that bigger is better in all fronts, be it a large ice cream, a tall person, or a giant business. Bigger invariably sounds better. But what if I tell you that for some businesses, smaller scale of operations might actually make more sense. In fact, by deliberately making itself smaller, it can make its business stronger and improve profitability. In this video, I'm sharing with you a brief clip of Shintan Batak session on our Mission Smile platform conducted by Mr. Atul Rawal. Mr. Atul Rawal has an experience of over three decades investing only on the microcap space. To know more about him, just go to our YouTube channel, SmartSync Services, and click on the most watched video there. In the following few minutes, you'll get a glimpse of our latest session with Atulji, the yin and yang of standalone versus consolidated statements, and how one can use this framework to screen new opportunities. Do watch till the end and let us know in the comment section what did you like the most. Overall consolidated numbers. So uh, as we have shown in first case, uh, the result will be if overall it is positive because of some loss making subsidiary, uh, it will go less positive. Uh, in case there are, let's say, uh, holding companies there, and then it has got two subsidiaries, and one is earning five rupees, another is losing five rupees. So net sum would be zero. So normally when we see uh, such business is continuing for quite longer time, we see that their uh, business and price uh, are lackluster. They are just sideways, uh, no movements anywhere because uh, investors uh, don't see any uptick in the business. Actually, when we uh, look into it, uh, the story could be different. Similarly, if the subsidiary is uh, uh, quite negative, uh, then consolidated itself will turn into negative results. So with this theme, uh, we'll, we'll take some past cases where what has happened and uh, what was the idea there and how such things are uh, available in the prevalent circumstances uh, so that we can look into it and uh, can look for the turnaround. Another very interesting case study is uh, Hyderabad Industries. <clears throat> Today, we know that Hyderabad Industries is a fantastic company into uh, roofing solutions, building solutions, volume solutions. But their main focus is on all sort of building material products. Earlier, till the year 2004 5, uh, they had a, a heavy engineering division, which was mainly into production of um, railway wagons. So, these two things are again very different. Uh, they were trying but uh, not succeeding in uh, turning around the heavy engineering division. While newer products offering, and um, I think all of us would remember it well, that they have a Charminar brand of roofing sheets, uh, even available at that time. So that was quite popular. And with a lot of uh, cyclones uh, hitting every year, uh, on that eastern coast, uh, this uh, uh, renewed demand was uh, very good even at that time. So sub subsequently, they uh, ventured into uh, autoclave blocks uh, and even these uh, uh, polymer solutions. So in on 8 July 2005, because they were facing continuous losses uh, in this uh, vegan division, they transferred this Tita, to Titagar Wagons Limited. Now today we know that uh, Titagar uh, Railway Solutions, as new name is, is doing fantastic because of the tailwinds in railways. But at that time, they had bought this with all assets and liabilities, uh, I suppose for one rupee. That was the transfer price. Uh, they, they, uh, the entire manpower, um, assets, liabilities, everything was transferred. As we can see here is <clears throat> that in 2004-5, this heavy engine, even before 3, 4, 4, 5, and even previous years, 
the segment results are showing that they were losing heavily. So roughly 20 crore of uh, losses from this heavy engineering division were continuously uh, uh, the company was burying. So, and as against that, the other division that was uh, this building material division, uh, you can see in 2003-04, uh, the segment results were 29 crore in 3-4, vis-a-vis 65 crore in 4-5. So up till 2003-04, uh, the net net result was nearly zero. Because with 20 crore of losses in one segment and 29 crore of PBT in another segment, with fixed costs and other finance charges, uh, they earned zero. So this was a typical case where something bad they were carrying for years together. And finally, they got tired, uh, divested it. And now we can see, uh, if you can <clears throat> see in 2004, uh, the price year was roughly around in between 30 and 40 rupees. So the entire management focus then turned to building material products. That is added advantage as I feel. So now earlier, all the worries of uh, this vegan division, heavy engineering division. So they were not uh, able to concentrate on the main business, which was really profitable, growing well and doing well. So as we can see from 2004-05, uh, it touched as high as 6,500 rupees. So maybe more than 100 bagger it has done in this time. Hope you found value in what I shared with you just now. Before I leave you, just one quick thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a glimpse of high quality investing related content to deep dive become a part of our fast growing investing community mission smile for those who are watching for the first time mission smile stands for making new stock market investors learn it through engaging research thank you and see you again soon